heed the trumpet in Zion. Sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble. For the day of the Lord coming. For it is nigh at hand. Praise God. A day of, of darkness and of gloominess. A day of clouds and of thick darkness as the morning spread upon the mountains. A great people and the strong. There have not been ever the light. Neither shall be any more accurate even to the years of many generations. A fire devoureth before them and behind them a flame burneth. Wow. The land is as the garden of Eden before them, and behind them a desolate wilderness. Amen. Behind them a desolate wilderness. You're not looking forward to a wilderness. No wilderness in front of you. The wilderness is behind. Yea, and nothing shall escape them. The appearance of them is as the appearance of horses, and as horsemen, so shall they run. Father, we thank you for your word, as you have blessed your people. Mighty God, bless, Lord, this message tonight, and as you have strengthened us, Lord, help us to receive it, and to walk in, in Jesus' name, amen. God bless you, be seated. Let's bow to the the Lord, a hand out the Lord. Somebody say, sound the alarm. Sound the alarm. Amen. We've come tonight with a word from God to encourage the church. Amen. I know that you've been in some battles, and some of the battles have seemingly overwhelmed you at times. Praise God. Sometimes when you when you are a Christian, when you are in this war, I mean, it seems like it's never ending. And you win some, and you win some. That's the way life goes as a Christian. You win some, and you win some. Praise God. Some of y'all think I got it wrong, didn't you? Amen. That's the way it is. Some of them can overwhelm you, but you always come out good, better, stronger, swifter, wiser. Amen. Praise God. David said, when I'm overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I am. When you're overwhelmed by things that will come up in your life, there is a rock called Christ Jesus. Jesus Christ that we can be led to. And he'll always put you back on top again. Amen. Jesus will always put you back on top again. Amen. He'll always pick you up, Amen. clean you up, and put you back on top again. Amen. Amen. Now, with everything that's going on, we can do all the declaring, and that's what everybody's doing these days, declaring. Not wrong with declaring, we're supposed to declare, we're supposed to decree. Amen. And we can declare everything that we can come up with. But if we forget Jesus, then we are left with nothing. Amen. Yet remember that his name is above every name. It's above every trial. It's above every circumstance. Amen. Jesus and miracles go hand in hand. You cannot separate them. Where Jesus is, miracles happen. Where miracles are happening, that's where Jesus is. Amen. You can never separate miracles and Jesus. Jesus and miracles. 
If you get Jesus there, miracles are going to happen. If miracles are happening, you can look around and you know that Jesus is somewhere in the vicinity because miracles are happening. Praise God. Now, whenever someone claims a miracle, people's first thought is that there must be some sort of natural explanation for this miracle. And somebody jump up and testify, you know, boy, you know, my shoulder's out of socket. And, and, and somebody just came by and laid hands on me, and all of a sudden, my shoulder's back in socket. Somebody will begin to try to explain that somebody used some force, and they pushed it back in. It was the way that you moved that got it back in there. Always wanted to take the supernatural out of miracles. Amen. Somebody tell you that, you know what, I have a $767.31 uh, credit card bill that I couldn't pay. And I got a phone call, I got a letter from the company, and it had a zero balance on it. And I called them and, and began to, to talk to them about it and see if they made a mistake. And they told me, no, we haven't made a mistake. We did receive payment. And you know that you didn't send a payment. First thing you tell somebody, they'll begin to try to see naturally how that could have happened rather than celebrating the supernatural intervention of Almighty God in it. Amen. The Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, they, they tell us of Jesus' resurrection. How many of y'all still believe in the resurrection? See? 